Hello! Welcome to another episode of After School Kids Lab. Every Wednesday we post a fun video of us doing something different. It could be a craft, it could be a science experiment, a skill, or a game. Today we are going to be doing pom-pom painting. This is a simple yet fun craft or art project. Here are a few things that you're going to need to do pom-pom painting. The first thing, of course, you need is pom-poms. <laughs> the second is paint. We use just washable kids paint. So this is something that hopefully if you get it on anything, you can wash it right off. You're also going to need some kind of paper. We're using construction paper, but you could use printer paper or any kind of craft paper that you would like. You can even use paper that you would like to recycle. It could be newspapers or paper that maybe you've drawn on the back of and you want to use the other side. We actually have some paper that we're gonna do that with today as well. Another thing you'll need are clothespins. Ours just happen to be orange, uh, but any kind of clothespin of any color will work. Another thing that's very helpful for this project are paper plates. We are going to use those to put the paint on before we dip our pom-poms in it. Another helpful thing to have, uh, just to reduce the amount of mess we might make, paint smocks are very helpful. You can see we've used this one before. The paint smock will help keep us from getting any of this paint on our clothes. Even though it's washable, we'd rather not have to deal with that. The process of pom-pom painting is fairly simple and does not require much instruction. First, you will want to get some paint ready. As mentioned before, it helps to have a paper plate for this step. You can pick various colors and make a palette like we did, or just pick one color and go with it. We put a small dollop of paint for each color on our plate. The next step is open your clothespin and place the pom-pom ball inside like so. The purpose of the clothespin is to both keep your hands out of the paint and make movement easier when painting. If your pom-pom ball is too small or large for the clothespin, you may need to use your own fingers. Another great reason to use washable paint when possible. Next, you could dip your pom-pom into the paint of your choice and press it onto the paper, kind of like a stamp. Pom-pom painting gives a unique texture to your painting and is great for making polka dots and patterns, but it can be used in many different ways. For example, I used my pom-pom dots to make the leaves and apples on a tree and the grass on the ground. So now it's time for me to ask you some questions. After all, this is After School Kids, or Ask Lab. So, does pom-pom painting remind you of any art you've seen before? For me, this type of painting is a lot like a simpler version of pointillism. Pointillism is a technique in painting in which small, distinct dots of color are applied in patterns to form an image. Do you think you could use pom-pom painting for something other than making artwork to frame or hang on your fridge? For example, maybe you could decorate some large pieces of packing paper like we did to create your own one-of-a-kind wrapping paper. Last of all, are there any other interesting or unusual items you could use to paint with? We used the bottom of a soda can to make a fun pattern of circles. Let us know what your experience was like with pom-pom painting or painting with other objects to create art. You can even post a photo, video, or comment on our Facebook page. We would love to hear from all of our After School Kids Lab viewers. We hope you enjoy doing pom-pom painting. Next week for After School Kids Lab, we are going to be doing an introduction to journal making and book binding. Until then, bye! bye.